Have you ever been stuck in certain things in your life or just in life in general? Well, today at A Hero's Journey with Dr. D, we're going to talk about utilizing a cassette tape, how we get stuck in a thing called life, dealing with two realms, the past and the present, not being able to navigate these two elements to get to our future. So stay tuned. We're going to talk about it. Hey, journeymen, journeywomen, this is a hero's journey with Dr. D, here to inspire, encourage, motivate, educate, and helping you get beyond your first move. Hey, check it out. We have a brand new podcast. Been doing for the last couple of weeks, but now you have a way to get to it. We have a link directly below. You can click it because we are consistently uploading every Wednesday to give you new material. We are specifically uploading every Wednesday to get you new material. So please go click the link down below uh, to check out our new podcast. And also, before I forget, don't forget to click the like, share, comment, subscribe, comment on the information down below. And so therefore, we can have information to talk about tonight at 9 o'clock. Because if we don't have information to talk about tonight at 9 o'clock, we don't talk about nothing because I won't be there. All right, let's check out the video. Have you changed your tape? Have you reworked or rewrote the program? Have you changed the recording? Have you changed the video? The video, the recording, the sound is the thing that we call life. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about changing the tape and rewriting the program. I'm using illustrative format. I am going to use it in a form of a tape, a cassette tape. For those who are not millenniums and uh, extras like myself, um, we know what a cassette tape is because they used to have Friday night mix. And we record it on the radio and then we play it back. Or we mix some things for ourselves or make a mixtape with our favorite hits. We will record it because you need certain instruments to do certain recordings. And you need a tape recorder. Not an MP3 player. Not a DVD. But you need a tape recorder. These are three items that we use sometimes some people use it efficiently and some people actually neglect yeah you first you need the cassette like this and then once you get the cassette you need a tape recorder like this but sometimes in life after you have the cassette, it's already established. The recording is already played, is already programmed. Some things change. And you decide you want to make another recording. And if one part of the recording and the other part of the recording in your life are not congruent, it snags. And what happens is that the first part of your life, from the age of zero to seven, you are being programmed. It's not a negative thing, but it is what it is. During the first seven years of your life, you're in a form of um, data. You're like in a dream state. That's why it's so easily it's so easy to train a child before they turn seven years old to learn different things because they absorb it like a sponge. I think the, the group said, give me a child to seven year, uh, up to their seven years old and I'll make you a man. 
But this is how it goes. You have a cassette tape. Now, think about it. You have a cassette tape. We usually get Maxwell, Sony, and Memorex. Or Memorex is all the time favorite because they had the best advertising. Because you're supposed to get the crisp, clear sound. What it is is that it had two rings. You had one on the left side and one on the right side. And 60 minute, 30 minute, 90 minute tapes, 120 minute tapes. And one tape, we're going to use this as an illustration. One part of the tape is the part that you had no, you had no buy-in. Meaning that when you were born, born, you can talk, you can walk, you came in crying, hungry, and want to be fed. You want to be fed spiritually, physically. <laughs> I mean, you wanted to be fed intuitively, um, intellectually. You being fed by your caregivers. So what is happening at the first part of your first part of your life, the first seven years of your life, you're being downloaded, downloaded. And these are things that your parents actually want to, um, their dreams, their aspirations. They're trying to make you what they weren't, what they aspired to do it but fell short. Or sometimes they're trying to make you better. So they put all these things in here because they want to make a better person. They want to make a better version of themselves. And that's a good thing. However, you start to get to a certain age where you get a certain type of independence. You start knowing who you are because your identity starts to develop. You start Your personality starts to come out. And when your personality comes out, you come out. And when you come out, you start saying, these are some of the things, not my, I want to do. Not because my mom, not because my dad, because I want to do. So you start experimenting on certain things. You start engaging on certain things. You start learning certain things. However, sometimes the things you start to learn or expound upon, are things totally contrary to the first ring, the first 90 minutes, six, 30 minutes, the first part from zero to seven wasn't your program that you created. It was the program that was put upon you. But then you start to learn something different and start to build on something and start to build yourself. And if you have an incongruency, what happens is that first, remember, you start with a cassette tape. Then you need a tape recorder to put, to put the cassette tape in so you can play. But if it's an incongruency, it snags. Have you ever had a cassette tape to snag. It's, oh man. My favorite song. All the stuff I recorded. It snagged. And I can't play it no more. But what happens is that. Since it has, you have so much investment in that tape. You get creative. And just because it has a snag. Doesn't mean the tape is no good. It has valuable information on there and you want to keep. So what happens is that you get a little screwdriver. First you get a, a little pencil and you try to get in between, try to turn it, try to turn it and see if you can get it to adjust. But that doesn't work. You get a screwdriver and you unscrew different parts of the cassette tape and you open it up. Now when you open up that cassette tape, what you do is that you're trying to evaluate you try to evaluate that parts of the cassette tapes, cassette tape, the tape inside, does part need to be ironed out or do some parts need to be cut out? See, there's some parts in our life that need to be cut out so we can move further and move forward. And there's some parts that need to be ironed out 
so we can keep on moving. Because if the wrinkled part, the crumpled part in that cassette tape is not ironed out or is not cut out, then the tape stops. Stagnation sets in. There's no movement and there's no life. And there's no moving, there'd never be life. Or you, you will exist, but will you ever live? You won't live because you will be stuck in a state of stagnation. Because the tape is jacked up. So what you need to do is that get some scissors and you cut a piece out. And you tape it back together. See, everything in your past... Even we may have rough rough parts in our past. We may have neglect in our past. But we have sunshine as well. You don't throw away all your past. Because of some rough spots. You learn from the rough spots. And you push forward. Your misery. Can be your ministry. It can be the thing that you help somebody else to overcome. But first, you need to overcome. And need to build that thing inside to move forward. Okay, that's one part. You cut. You get some see-through tape. Some scotch. Put it together. Put the top back on. And it works. Or, it may just be a little wrinkled. Not true trauma, but trouble enough. Iron it out. Get it straight. Put the tops back on. Secure them and move forward. See, what happens is that we don't take time for ourselves to stop and see what's really making us Stuck. What's stagnating our motion? Is it our past or is it our present? I'm willing to believe that some things that we cannot move, some things cannot go forward if we don't deal with the situations of the past. And some situations of the past are so traumatic that we don't want to deal with them. And when we don't deal with those issues, those things become stagnant and they slow us down for becoming what we need to be to fulfill the purpose that we're intended to fulfill. Will you change the tape and rewrite the program? See, when you adjust things in the previous program, You smooth over and it mails in with the new program that you started to write. But you have to adjust some things in the past so they can go with the things of your present. So you can make a future that's worth making. This is a hero's journey with Dr. D getting up vertical and always moving forward out.